Hey guys, it's me, 1239 here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a TikTok that has come out recently about Anne with an E season 4. The TikTok was created by the username It's Girl Boss Katie. Now, before we get into this TikTok, I just want to give out a disclaimer. I love seeing people's enthusiasm for the show and for a season 4. I appreciate that and I love it. I love the fact that it's been almost three years at this point and people are still campaigning for a season four and they are so hopeful for one. So by me making this video, I don't want to come off as like being negative or by being pessimistic about this TikTok or by the potential for a season four. I just kind of want to give out my thoughts about the information that has been brought up and that has been talked about. So let's get started now. We're going to watch the TikTok first and then we're going to talk about it. I need us all to stop giving up on season four of Anne with an E. With all the reboots and all the shows and all the movies that are coming back, we know that it's possible. Not only do I know, but I fucking saw. I went on a drive the other day. If you're from Ontario, you know where Gilbert Blythe's house is. Guess what I fucking saw? I saw cast trailers in the field behind his house. I saw those big TV lights, a bunch of equipment. There was a security guard in front of his house. Nobody was there because it was a Sunday, but they're definitely fucking filming something. Now, you're probably gonna come at me saying, well, why aren't you showing anything? To tell you the truth, I do not wanna get sued. I do not make any money off this app. I literally cannot get sued. I cannot afford to get sued. But what I saw looked like they were filming something on both sides, because I'm pretty sure Gilbert's is on the left side and Anne's house is on the right, or they're filming Road to Avon Lee. Anyways, something to do with that universe is coming, so be excited. Amy Beth is in an airport right now with red hair. Because I drove past Gilbert's house on a Sunday, I just assumed that nobody was there because it was a weekend, but I don't even think they've started filming yet. But the trailers are there, the lighting equipment is there, a bunch of other stage equipment is there. And before anybody comes at me saying there's no way because of the SAG-AFTRA strike, that only applies to American actors. Amy Beth is from the UK. Anne with an E is being filmed in Canada. It's why House of Dragon was still able to be filmed in the UK. It's why movies are currently being filmed in Canada. There are some actors and actresses who are in solidarity with SAG-AFTRA, but it's not mandatory because it's a different association for Canadians. Is it Anne with an E season four? Is it Road to Avonlea? I'm not sure, but it's a house in the middle of nowhere and something is cooking in that universe. She has her red hair back. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Even if it was Road to Avonlea, that would be great. We would love that. But I believe Road to Avonlea was created by Sullivan Entertainment, which was the company that created the 80s version of Anne of Green Gables, as well as the 2000 cartoon of Anne of Green Gables. So I don't think that the CBC slash Netflix version of Anne of Green Gables would be creating another role to Avonlea, unless they had permission from Sullivan to create the show or t or the movie. Because as we saw with the lawsuit, you know, there was some stuff there that was replicated or whatever. Anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> Back to the main topic at hand. I have personally gone to the two properties, Anne's house and Gilbert's house. And just like this person said, I don't want to get sued, so I'm not going to say where they are. Also, if you do know, please be respectful. Like they, they actually said this in the caption, please be respectful. If you do pass by the house, like ask for permission before you step onto the property. I believe that there are actually people living in Gilbert's house. So be even extra cautious about that. When I went, I went in 2021 <laughs> in August. Yeah, I went in August. I have a video about my experience. I'll link it right up here. And this was during the weekend. I think this was a Saturday. There was something filming there when I went. I actually did ask some of the crew there if I could step into the property and take some photos, but they said that I had to do it from the road only. And so that's what I did. And then we left right after that. This was a random Saturday in 2021. And this was right actually before they painted the house gray. This was like the day or two days before they painted the house gray. And I have seen other people that have went and have been allowed into the the property to watch the filming of whatever they were filming. It's always something different. Like there was someone who went in March of 2021 and I think that they were filming a commercial if I'm not mistaken. And when someone else went, I think a few days after I did, when they had already painted the house gray, they said they were filming something for Bolivia. I don't know. <laughs> 
And then I had a friend who went, her name is Kayla. She said that she went past by and they couldn't tell her what they were filming. And this was in 2021. By 2022, AJ, who played Jerry on the show, he actually went in, I believe it was July or August. I have a video about that up here if you guys want to check that out. I also have a video up here of when a fan went in March of 2021. So check out all those videos. But when AJ went, they actually had the house painted blue by that point. So obviously Anne's house, aka Green Gables, is using a lot of different productions. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're filming just for Anne. That house is actually pretty popular, I guess, in that area. It is rural, so if they ever need to film somewhere in Toronto where it's not city, you know, where it's not urban-like, <laughs> then they film, you know, around that area. And actually earlier this year, Kayla DM'd me and mentioned that she was watching The Way Home, which is a Hallmark movie, and she saw Green Gables in one of the scenes. And the house was blue, which was what it looked like when AJ had been there. You can actually see in this shot the chicken coop area where Anne stands in season one episode four and you can see the front of Green Gables, you can see Anne's window and all that stuff. So obviously there have been so many productions that have filmed there. We don't really know what they are but we know one of them at least. There are people filming around that area. Gilbert's house is a whole different story of course. This is actually the first time that I've heard someone say that they have seen production crew around Gilbert's house. I think that's interesting, but I don't think that that necessarily means that they're filming something for Anne there, unfortunately. But wouldn't it be nice if they did? <laughs> it would be so nice. I also want to bring up the SAG strike because I feel like this contributes to the possibility that whatever they're filming around Gilbert's house or in Gilbert's house is not related to Anne because Anne with an E was created by both CBC and Netflix, and Netflix is part of the the SAG strike. And I feel like some of the actors are part of the union, like Lucas or Miranda. I feel like they would be part of the union because they're American. I don't know about how things work here in Canada with that. I don't know how it's really affected Canadian actors. I'm sure it has in some capacity. I just feel like that has something to do with it somewhere. Like the strike would impact getting a season four anytime soon. And like I've said in many of my videos in the past, I wouldn't believe anything until we hear it from Moira herself because Moira is the god of Anne with an e. She's the main person. She was the showrunner. So if we end up believing anything, it has to come from her. That's just my opinion. Of course, like if they ever, you know, if they ever do something to surprise us, that would be lovely and I would enjoy that so much. I think that would be great. But until we hear from Moira herself, I don't think that we can really believe anything. Even if we see, you know, them filming something in the properties. The other thing that was brought up in the TikTok, which I did not mention because I didn't know that there was a part two to the TikTok, but it was about how Amy Beth recently dyed her hair red. And I have made a video about when Amy Beth dyed her hair blonde because people thought that it meant that she was not gonna come back as Anne and there was not gonna be a season four renewal. This happened in 2021, I believe. To that, I would say that I don't think this is a huge indicator that there is gonna be a season four anytime soon because I think that Amy Beth has said that she does miss being a redhead. So just like when she dyed her hair blonde, which is her natural hair color, I just think she wanted to dye her hair and I think that that just means that. It doesn't mean anything else. It could also mean that she is getting ready to film Stranger Things Thing, season five because she is a redhead in the show but of course she was also wearing a wig while she was filming for season four of Stranger Things so it could literally mean anything but I think it's more for personal reasons rather than professional reasons and the other thing about her being in the airport I just think she's flying somewhere she does seem to travel a lot so I just think she's going somewhere to visit her friends or for something work related but I don't think it has to do with Anne. At this point, I don't see anything happening in the near future, and that's why I haven't been making any renewal update videos. This is actually my second video related to Anne in all of this year. I try to make less of these videos because I feel like until we hear something from a producer, everything else is just speculation and there's just so much of it that I don't think it's necessary to put everything into videos. But I thought this was interesting because I feel like a lot of people might be believing this, so I just wanted to clear everything up 
regarding the properties and all that stuff. Before we get further on into the video, because there is something else I want to bring up that I've been hearing so much since the show was canceled and kind of annoys me. Before we get into that, I just want to mention that I am selling Polaroids of Anne with an E characters and Sherbert, of course, on my Etsy shop, Shop by Mimi1239. There are two Polaroids right up here. You can't see them, but I will show a clip of them <laughs> and you can check out those Polaroids if you want to buy some for the holiday season or for whatever. You can check out my shop in the description box below if you want to cop some Polaroids. All right, now let's get into the next point of this video, which is about Lucas and what people have been saying about him not wanting to come back to the show if it ever got a season four. There has been an overwhelmingly amount of times that I have seen on Twitter and on Instagram of people saying that Lucas would not want to come back for a season four. This is just so weird to me. There's literally no indication that he wouldn't want to come back for a season four. There's actually the contrary. I know, like, we're gonna get into it because I know that people might say, oh, like, he said this, he said that, he did this, he did that. Let's get into it. <laughs> so in May of this year, Lucas actually went on a live with Stephen Tracy, who played Mr. Phillips on the show, and he talked about Anne which was nice. And he talked about how he would have wanted to have seen Anne and Gilbert grow up, like be adults and stuff like that. What would you have wanted to happen to Gilbert had there been a season four? Oh. Um, I would like to have seen him actually become a doctor. I'd like to see him actually um, fulfill his, his prior dreams mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and start working the profession of his yeah. choice. Because I no, that was something he was really passionate about, and I, he didn't get a chance to really, like, do an adult life yet yeah. on, the, on the series. Yeah. So, uh, after bringing all that worldliness into, um, you know, becoming more emotionally mature and realizing what he wanted with his relationship with Anne and stuff like that, I wanted to see him progress into a career of, like, what he, you know, we wanted to do. Mm. That's not him saying that he wouldn't want to come back for a hypothetical season four. That's actually saying the contrary. And this whole idea of people saying that Lucas wouldn't want to come back for a season four stems from a video that he filmed with his then girlfriend defending his girlfriend against the people that were sending them hate because they wanted him to be with Amy Beth. It was kind of weird, but they were shipping Sherbert and saying that they were better than his real life relationship. And he was just defending his relationship, which... I feel like anyone would do when they're receiving an overwhelming amount of hate for no reason, literally, for having a relationship. The other thing that people were saying is that he has talked badly about Amy Beth and there is no evidence of that at all. People just interpreted the fact that he was defending his relationship in the video and somehow brought in Amy Beth and then they just ran with the story and unfortunately this is what a lot of people think now and this idea is sort of like spread and no one has actual evidence of where he has bad mouth amy beth at all there's i have not seen anything and i mean like actually said something like actually said something bad about her nothing there is nothing out there and regardless of what the internet says about lucas and his relationship to the cast this is just one side of the story like the public image of celebrities and of actors is just one side of the story we don't know everything that goes on in their lives their interpersonal relationships Nothing. People could bring up when Lucas rejected Amy Beth's hug when they were filming season one, but I would argue that they were just kids and it was kind of a misunderstanding, kind of an awkward moment. I don't think that situation is proof that Lucas and Amy Beth don't have a good relationship or anything. And I've actually seen them firsthand, like with my own two eyes, because I went to an event. I'll leave a link up here where I talked about that, where I actually saw them talking. There was no cameras around. There was... It, this was not like a public event like in the sense of like they're being filmed or there's a lot of fans around this was just like a casual concert where they happened to be there and i happened to see them talking they were being friends they were friends even though like i said like we don't know the whole story i don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be between them and honestly i don't think someone should be scrutinized for wanting a private life despite 
being an actor and for wanting to protect their relationship from cruel and unnecessary remarks. It was a pretty disgusting time, honestly. All of that to say, I don't think that anyone in the cast would be opposed to coming back for a season four. We definitely know that Amy Beth would, and we know that Lucas would have as well based on that interview. I'll leave the full interview. I'll leave all of the videos and everything that I've talked about in the description box below, including the TikTok that I talked about in this video. If you can take one important lesson from this video is to not send anyone hate because I don't think that that is ever warranted, especially when it comes to these actors that are just living their life and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these topics. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want. And remember to check the link that I'll leave in the description box below to my Etsy shop where you can purchase some Anne Polaroids. Thank you so much to Raster, I'm Danny Fanta, and Gaston Santian for becoming channel members. It really means a lot to me. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.